when I joined Type O, Type O wasn't even a, a touring band. They yeah. weren't, you know, like I, I was friends with all the guys for years before yeah. before I joined the band. And uh, w- when Sal left, I mean, there was even, you know, discussion, you know, like if the band was even going to continue at that point, nobody really knew what was going to go on, yeah. what was going to happen going forward, because there really wasn't, a lot going on like you know when i joined the band my expectations really were maybe make some money you know we'll play on the weekends and you know like it wasn't you know don't quit your day job and you know we'll play on the weekends a little bit and it kind of worked out because it was like a like christmas was coming and i was like oh this is great i get some extra money playing at christmas (laughs) (laughs) i'll make a couple of bucks and go christmas shopping and uh I didn't care. I was yeah. like, I don't care what this band does. I was like, I love the band. I want to be in the band, you know, it's, it's, and that that's really what it was left at. And I was in the band. Bloody Kisses had come out and Peter was adamant about not touring for the record. He wasn't going to support it. So he just wanted to make music and play locally. And I was in the band for a few months at that point. And our manager called me while I was at work and asked if I could get some time off from work to go on tour. I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, well, Peter said that he would go out for a few weeks. I was like, really? Peter's our Peter. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Our our Peter said that. (laughs) And really that's, it was like, we, we went out for, we went out for six weeks. I was able to get time off of work, you know, Kenny was working at that time too. He got time off. Peter had, uh, you know, he worked for the city and I don't think he ever took a sick day in his entire time working for the city. So he had accumulated so much sick time and and Mm -hmm. vacation time. So he was pulling a full paycheck while we were on tour. And, uh, that first tour, we went out for six weeks. We went out with life of agony. We toured in the States and, uh, we came back and went back to work back to work and i get another phone call from my manager hey can you get time off for work again i was like for what now (laughs) (laughs) right what now (laughs) it's it's like what happened and uh we got offered to do uh, a short run of dates with nine inch nails on the west coast oh wow nice and I was like, all right, let me see if I can get the time off. <laughs> I got the time off. <laughs> right. And we went. We went. We did 12 shows with Nine Inch Nails, not thinking anything that would, you know, we didn't think anything would ever come of it, you know, whatever. We just went and did it and then went home, went back to work. And then it was, you know, the call, can you get more time off? I was like, for what now? You know, like, what, 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 what's come in? Because we would go home and we were just going back to work. We didn't think that anything else was going to happen. Yeah. Because at this point, you know, we did a little bit of touring. The record's been out for almost a year at this point, you know. And it didn't really do anything. The record didn't. It wasn't like the record exploded and we were, you know, we were in demand. There wasn't anything happening. You know? And uh we got offered the Motley Crue tour. Right. And we, uh, apparently when they were working on the record with John Karabi, that record, Mm -hmm. they got a hold of bloody kisses and they, they liked it and they wanted us to be one of the support bands on their tour. And that was it. And, uh, I mean, that was, that's all there was. That's all it was to the story of how we got the tour. Their, their management didn't want us to do it because we had no value. They are like, why don't you get somebody that could, you know, fill some seats. And, you know, they were like, no, we really like, we really <laughs> like this band. We want them to tour with us. Yeah. And they're like, and they're like, okay. And so we were, we did that tour. And then after that tour, then things started picking up for typo. Yeah. Can I, can I ask you something about that Motley Crue tour? Because obviously that Motley tour with Karabi was kind of a, a, a low point for, for Motley, but for mm-hmm. you guys, you guys are playing amphitheaters with Motley Crue. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, right. I, I, it's like I a, mean, like you a know, like yin it, and yang. Yes, it was, it wasn't a good tour for them. Great for us. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what, that's uh, the question. But even that, like, you know, like bef- before that tour started, you know, it was like, you're gonna you're gonna go out for the summer with King's X and Motley Crue. And I 
games. And I'm thinking to myself, why would a band like Typo <laughs> go out with Motley Crue? And I, I was asking my manager at the time, I was like, you know, I was like, I'm a funny guy. I was like, where's the joke in this? I was like, you know, we're just going to get hit with tomatoes. We, you know, we're going to get hit with garbage. <laughs> yeah. You know, why, why would, why would you put a band like Typo on the same bill as Motley Crue? It's like, it's such a terrible idea. And he, and our manager who like, he, he did have incredible like street smarts. He was really good with, with that. And he was like, trust me, this is going to be a really good thing for you guys. And I was like, okay. I mean, I, I, I like Motley Crue and I love King's X and stuff. I was like, I just don't think that typo is the right band to play with them. I was like, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy right. this after we're done playing and getting hit with garbage. It's going to be, you know, the rest of the night will be fun. And somehow we were winning their crowds over, but their crowds, like, like you were saying, it wasn't a successful tour for them. But for us, we couldn't get arrested in Pensacola, Florida or Charlotte or, you know, right. all these other places that we were playing. And so for them, you know, it was a bad show for them. So you play in this amphitheater and say there's only 3000 people there. That's 3,000 people more than we would play right. in front of had we been there on our own. So this was a good thing for us. And fortunately enough, their crowd liked us. So that, that was also – it took some getting used to at first. It was like, wow, they, they dig it. <laughs> right. It's like really weird. And, uh, and then after that tour, then we, we stayed out. We, we started – like the tour ended – we finished with Motley Crue in Texas and started in Texas on our own tour. And the first night we were playing and we started the tour, we were in Dallas and we were playing the basement that mm -hmm. you know, Pantera guys made famous. Yeah, and, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. and not really sure what to expect. I look out the bus and there's a fucking line of people going around the block and the, the show was oversold. And then that's, that's, that, that's what started. That's when it started where typo started, you know, we were making a name for ourselves. We were starting to like, you know, we're starting to fill rooms on our own, you know, 